Hi, this is Annie with Paint the Moon, and I'm going to take you through a simple edit using my new Action Jubilee. This is free. You can find it in the exclusive tab on my Facebook page. We're just going to go up here. We have Jubilee selected. Click play. It's telling me that it's going to flatten my image first, so save if I need to. If you're using a full version of Photoshop uh, versus Elements, you will have a snapshot taken. You can go to your history palette up here and the snapshot it takes before the action runs will be there. So you can just click on that if you want to go back to how your image was before the action ran. So I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to create a ton of layers for me to go through and play with. That way, no matter um, what kind of image you're working with, you can get it to have professional results, tweak it to your image's needs, and your personal style. First thing I notice here is uh, it's too red, so I'm going to drag the tone red and pink layer up to 100%. That's my baby. <laughs> Sorry about that. And that looks a little bit better. I am gonna also I'm gonna play around with this tweak color layer and see what that does. It brings a little bit more of a blue color to the shadows. Uh, there's just a ton of different layers to go through. Just play with them. If you you know if you look at your image and it, it looks too bright, you know that you need to find uh, maybe a make lighter layer and turn that off, and that'll darken it up. If it's really too light, you can turn the make lighter layer off and turn the make darker layer on and adjust opacity on that to your needs. There's also a brighten layer that you can play with that brightens the midtones. If it's too creamy or warm looking, you can play with the warm honey layer. You can see that this makes a huge difference. Uh, there's, there's just a lot you can do here to um, tweak it to your individual tastes and your individual images needs. Another thing I included in this set was a Tweak My Jubilee action, which will basically um, go through these layers that you just created with the Jubilee original action and tweak them just to kind of give you a feel of how different a look you can get from the same action just by playing with your layers. And so I'm going to play that and that gives you kind of a cooler look. Here's our straight out of camera shot and there's Jubilee after running the Tweak My Jubilee. And then we also, for those that don't want all of those layers to adjust, we have a Jubilee Simple, which will create a lot less layers uh, if you just want to run it and have only a couple of things to adjust and not worry about the rest of it, you can run that one. And then you're left with just a few layers here, make lighter and darker and a warming layer and so forth. And you can always, on any of these actions, if you're in Photoshop, uh, click on the group of layers here for the main action and adjust the overall tone of the action if you want it to leave it a little bit more subtle. I hardly ever, ever run an action and leave it at 100%. In fact, most of my actions don't even end at 100%. They'll end at about 80 So you can turn it up if you want to to 100% or bring it down. And I usually bring it down. I'm gonna, I like this one at like 65%. Looks pretty good to me. And this is available for Photoshop and Elements. So there's all three of those actions are available in Elements as well when you download the freebie. And I think that's it for today. And thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy it. I just wanted to put something out there for you guys to play with until the next new set hits. And I appreciate you all. Thank you. Have a great day.